Hey everyone, today I thought I would do a tag video that I was not necessarily tagged in, but I wanted to do it anyway, because I thought it would be fun. And if you haven't figured out from the title already, then um, it's going to be a dream tag. Um, and if you don't know what a tag is, it's basically where you answer a bunch of a, a bunch of questions and then um tag people uh yeah so pretty self-explanatory okay we'll just go ahead and get into the questions okay the first question is do you dream um obviously i dream since i'm doing this tag but yes i do dream very often um what did you dream about last night well this was probably not the best day to do this because i have no clue what i dreamt last night i think i was so tired that it probably wasn't much of a dream yeah um okay let's hope let's Sorry guys, I know this is a little closer than what I was while ago. And because I just remembered uh, a, a dream that I had that I had to share. Oops, sorry. Huh? I, I don't have one of those flip out screens so I've been having to use my mirror to see what I'm doing. But, um, yeah. So, one of the dreams that I had that don't really fit any of the other categories or the other questions is <laughs> one time I had a dream that some guy was chasing me through I don't even remember where he was chasing me but I mean for some reason uh, Dream Beth uh, ran into a, a stall or a bathroom and ran into a stall and uh, like I was just standing there and I was trying to hide my feet and stuff so I stood on top of the toilet <laughs> and then it was almost like one of those du dubets or whatever those really weird uh, toilets that squirt you or whatever but it turned into one of those and the water that shot out had sprinkles in it so it was like sprinkle water that um was f flying and uh it was just really weird and i remember <laughs> i was standing there while all the sprinkle water was um flying up and i just remember i mean i didn't even care about the killer that was trying to get me I was just like, oh my gosh, I got a sprinkle on my lip. <laughs> it was so funny, and I shared it with Facebook, and they thought it was funny. So if you haven't seen that, then now you know. Don't put sprinkle water on your lips. How many dreams do you usually remember? Um... I don't know, like, the number. Probably somewhere around 5 to 10, I would think. Um, but, yeah. I usually remember my dreams for at least a little while, which I think is pretty normal because you tend to forget them, like, five minutes after you dream them. <laughs> but, uh... Four, do you have a dream journal? No, I don't, but the thought of one is really cool. I always wanted to do a journal, but I just never kept up with it. Um, I always thought that it would be really, really, really cool if you could uh, make a journal and then kind of create your own world within your world if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I always wanted to secretly be a writer. But I have no talent for writing. So. Okay. Five. How often do you have nightmares? 
Um, not really often, but, um, a few of them. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have nightmares very often, but I do remember some of them. I know I have one, or I remember one, that, um, I was in, like, a airport terminal. I've never been in an airport, airport, so I have really... I really have no idea uh, what one is like <laughs> inside, but like basically I was walking by this big glass window and um, it was at night time and uh, a airplane was coming down to land and it was coming straight towards me and had blew up right before it had uh, hit ground. So it was on fire as it was coming towards me. And I just remember waking up and I was like paralyzed to the bed. And I hate that feeling. It's all, it's like you're burning up inside but you can't move. Like you're on fire but you just can't move if that makes any sense. And I, I remember I had another one reminded me with the fire. But um, I had another one that I was in an apartment building and it was all on fire and everyone in it was on fire except for me and I was just it was almost like nobody could see me and I was just standing there scared to death watching everybody run around being burned and it was horrible and I woke up the same way with that one <sighs> I've had some really bad dreams oh let me tell you another one <laughs> Uh, there is, um, uh, well, it was the, the living room suit that we had before the one we have now. And it was like a burgundy one. That was gross. I just squeaked or something. Sorry, guys. Um, but, uh, I was, I fell asleep downstairs at night. And my mom and dad was upstairs in bed, and I just stayed downstairs and fell asleep on the couch watching TV. And, um, I remember being, like, really scared anyway to sleep down there just because I'm, there's, like, a hall directly in front of the living room. And I like to keep that light on because I'm, I, like, every time I look down it, I'm just waiting on, like, fingers to curl around the door frame or something other and then somebody walk out <sighs> just think about it, it gives me the heebie jeebies but um i remember sleeping on that couch and it was almost like i wasn't i hadn't even fell asleep like i was just laying there and then somehow fell asleep and uh I turned around and this thing, I mean it kind of looked like a person but then it smiled and it had like teeth like shark, like, like a shark and uh, yeah it scared me and it was almost like her face grew like it was a joker smile that would come way out. I don't even know how to explain it but yeah that was a really scary one that I remember. Number six, do you lucid dream? <sighs> I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I think it basically means that you can kind of control your dreams or something like that. And um, I don't know. I might have done that like one or two times that I can remember anyway, but not very often. A lot of times I just let it play out and uh, I don't know I don't normally know that I'm dreaming which I don't really think that's a bad thing for me I don't care if I it's dreaming it's not real and uh, it kind of just enhances your imagination I don't know <laughs> I'm not me anyway Number seven, do you dream in color? Yes. Um, seems like I've dreamt in black and white before. 
but I don't really remember. Um, number eight, do you dream in first person? Yes. I usually always dream in first person. Every now and then I dream that like, like it's almost a movie and I'm technically the character in it, but I'm just really watching, but one of the characters in it is me, if that makes sense. So if I, I went to the movie theater to watch one of my movies that I was in, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, do you have recurring dreams? Uh, the only one that I can remember is one that I had a couple times when I was a kid. And, uh, I don't, I can't even remember all of it, but there was, like, so many different parts to it. Um, like, first I had to put my foot into this roller skate that was stuck into a crack in like a block of cement or something and then that took me to this place where I had to walk through this door that was just I mean it was just a random door nothing holding it or anything right out in the middle of the desert and I remember can't remember if I walked through that and then saw uh, like a black figure riding a black horse or if that happened while I was there but that's really oh and then uh, I remember that uh, I, I can't remember the show seems like it was Thomas the in or the little train I don't remember do you remember the show that had Thomas and then there was like a jukebox and there is like little people inside of it um like little puppets I don't know but then I went through there and once I went through there then um I went to another place where uh if you all have watched Eureka's Castle, then those little monsters that live in the tunnel, where the, the, man, I wish I could remember. But if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there's like two of them, and they're supposed to be like brother and sister, and there are like two little monsters with like a tooth or something other. Then I had to go there, and I don't remember where I ended up, but I had that a couple times, and then I remember as a kid, I was thinking about it, and uh, I was just thinking about that dream, and I was like, man, I wish I had that dream again, and then, um, it seems like that night I had it, so would that be a lucid dream, if you can make yourself have a certain dream? I have no idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember that. Uh, number 10, and this is the last question. Have you ever had deja vu? And yes, I have had it so many times. And it's just so weird whenever you have it. And it's like, it starts out, okay, like, say I was sitting in class. And uh, I was just sitting there and something started happening. And it kind of, it's almost like, it slowly comes, you just slowly realize what's going on. And then you're like, oh, I've done this before. <laughs> like, or at least that's me. Like, every time I have deja vu, it's like, oh, like my eyes just pop open or something or other. But, yeah, deja vu is crazy. I have it, well, not all the time, but probably at least once a month and sometimes when I do have it I'll have it multiple times once I have it and then it'll go a while and I don't have it but yeah it's pretty crazy um 
that's the end of the tag guys and uh if you like this sort of video just let me know because i would love to do more tag videos i just don't know if you guys actually like them and if you would think i mean it's not funny but it's kind of something to pass the time, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I want you guys to make an account and do your first video with this tag. How awesome will that be? So awesome. This is awkward, okay. Um, but yeah, make a video. Or if you just really don't want to do that, you want to be a rebel and not get on the YouTube bandwagon then just leave a comment below of your answers to the questions and I'll try my best to leave the answers or not the answers but the questions below so get to making your YouTube account or start commenting now so bye guys let me know what you think